it's Beverly with my new do. <laughs> I got my hair cut today, and of course it's real short. I got a different lady today. And the color is a little bit darker than I normally do. This is rich caviar. Normally I do amethyst. But when I bought this, I didn't see this. <laughs> see the other one. But anyway, so I'm here to kick off Christmas in July make along. I got to show you the patterns. And I'm going to start on the challenge that I have from Crochet Creations by Christy. Yay! See the fuzzy yarn? It has some halo. <laughs> That's Christy's turn. Okay, so here we go. So, I've got some patterns here. Um, and these are just suggestions. But I have to explain the rules. Uh, I have it listed on my Facebook group, Beverly's Crafts, and I'll be talking about here, it here on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to be doing videos showing you my progress. I'll be crocheting with you, and we're just going to have fun for Christmas in July. And at the end of uh, July, July 31st, I'm going to have a drawing because I want you to post your finished projects and um, works in progress, but I want you to f post your finished ones by July 1st, not July 1st, <laughs> we'll say July 30th, so that on July 31st I can do a drawing. Let's do that, Christmas in July. Okay, so here's the make-along and the challenge. Now, there's two types of things that you can enter. You can enter a Christmas stocking, okay? And here is a suggested pattern, suggested pattern. This is the one that Christy uh, from Crochet Creations by Christy challenged me to make. She sent me two schemes, so if I have enough to make two socks, I'm going to. This is from Your Inspirations. It is a intermediate skill level and it's going to use an I hook and an M hook, M is in Mary hook and it's got a toe and a heel and this may be pretty good if you were wanting to make crochet socks um this might be a good pattern to try so anyway I'm going to be making this during the month of July. I'm going to be starting and I here, I think, today. The second part, so that means you can submit to my Facebook uh, post for the Christmas in July challenge a crocheted or knitted Christmas stocking. The, the second part of the challenge is crochet character Christmas towels or Christmas character towels. Okay, you guys have seen me in the past make uh, the snowman hanging towel, okay? And that towel, the whole entire towel is crocheted. I don't have a picture of it in front of me, but on tomorrow's video, I definitely will. <laughs> What it is, is the whole entire towel is crocheted. Then you uh, fold the towel so that it hangs over your stove or any type of handle so that you can see the Christmas character. So it's not just a Christmas towel with a Christmas topper. It's an entire crocheted towel, kitchen towel size. Um, with a Christmas character topper. So, I'm just going to show you some examples. Below this video is going to be a link to this stocking pattern. If you want to make this one, it's a free pattern. And the ones I'm going to show you now. 
Now these patterns are all free online. And these patterns will be linked below. They are ex acceptable for this make along. But of course there's many other ones on the web. So here's one here. Here's a picture of a Christmas towel. And you can see you crochet the whole entire towel and you put your character on the top. Now this one is a snow globe. And the reason I don't have the rest of the towel here is because it's just a topper. But I think that after you follow a pattern and create a crocheted towel, the towel is usually about 12 to 14 inches below the, the topper part. So this is a snow globe. And they have buttons. They have three little snowman buttons and they have snowflake buttons sewn on and it's supposed to be a snow globe. This one is a topper. You would crochet an entire towel, which I think I'll have the measurements tomorrow for you. Uh, or maybe I'll just list them below on this video, you know, across the screen. This is a gingerbread man. So you make the towel. I know it's 12 inches below the topper. This one is a cute snowman. And you would crochet a white towel or whatever color you want and do the snowman. Now this picture is a reindeer. And it happens to be a, a coaster or a hot pad. But you could use this pattern with the crocheted towel. Now look at this one. I love this. I'm definitely going to make this one. This one is a Christmas tree towel and you crochet the whole towel and with your button and your loop. This one is an example. Here's a Santa. See the whole towel is crocheted, the topper is made and it's attached and you flip or wrap your towel. Here's a reindeer. I'm going to make this reindeer pretty much right off the bat. I'm going to be working on Christie's stocking and this reindeer. So here's the reindeer kitchen towel. See how the towel is totally crocheted? That's, you're getting the idea. Here's a gingerbread man. The towel is totally crocheted. So those are my examples. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with this reindeer because I think this reindeer is really cute. Which will refresh me on how to make a towel. Then when I get, I'm not sure if you do the head first or you do the towel first. But when I get to that point, then I'm going to have a completed crocheted towel and the topper all in one. So I just wanted you to get the point that it's not, you know, buy a, a towel and make a topper. No, this is the whole entire towel that happens to have a Christmas character topper, okay? Or you can make a Christmas stocking, either knitted or crocheted. So I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to get ready, and I'm going to start on the stocking with you guys. So you could pause the video, you could pick out your yarn, you could start making this Christmas stocking. Hold on, because I'm going to make the body of the sock this color. So let me go get some red. So I got some green, some red heart. Green. And let's start the tool. So I'm going to do a circle, chain two, and then do eight half double crochets in my ring. So that's two. Three, four, five, 
Six, seven, and then eight, and that chain two counts as a stitch. So I have nine half double crochets. I'm going to join with the slip stitch in the top of the first one, or the chain two. Right there. Okay. Then it says chain two. Half double crochet and the same as the jewelry. double crochets in each remaining stitch around join in the top of the beginning chain two and you will have 18 half double crochets okay so that's what we're doing first this is Red Heart Super Saver in the color Patty Green. So I guess it's more of a St. Patrick's Day color. I was going to use red, but the red that's in this yarn is more of a burgundy color. But the green is more of this green color, so I'm going with the green. And then maybe I'll take some time if I have enough of the other yarn to make a second stocking. I'll make the toe red, toe and heel. Okay. So we gotta make sure we have 18 when we get done here. So this project will give us some crochet time together. So we had the girl that's been cutting my hair for more than 20 years has retired. So I had to start with somebody new today, but I think she did a good job. And like I said, the color is darker than I normally need to get, but I do it myself. And it, maybe it just won't fade as fast. Okay, let's make sure we got 18 and we're counting the two chains as a stitch. Two, four, six. Chain, yeah. Two, four, six. Sixteen, eighteen, twenty. So I must have too many in my first. Row. Yeah, I've been wanting to make those Christmas towels, so I thought I would just include you guys. And if you do them, you know, in July, then you'll have them ready for Christmas, and then I'll have them for my craft shows. So that's why I wanted to do these, and they're so cute. <laughs> So in tomorrow's video, I will start the reindeer. Okay, so let's see what we got so far. The slipper pattern that I make, baby slippers, I can make it over and over. 
not have a problem. And then I can do it one time and just have it drive me crazy. I don't know. So apparently I can't do a circle with increases today. to this other side if I have 18 or 20. Okay, let's see how we did. Two. Oh, so this is the toe first. I was thinking we were doing the heel first, but this is the toe. Okay, and so the challenge that I did for Christy was for her to make a snowman towel. And I sent her the kit from Mary Maxim to make the snowman towel. And you, of course, can order that. It comes with the white yarn and the black yarn and some orange and white to make and enough to make two snowmen. Okay, so there is the first two rounds of my toe. Now, chain two half double in the same as joining, half double in the next two stitches. So it's two and then one, one. So we're gonna chain two. We're gonna do a half double crochet in the same as the joining. Then we are going to do half double crochet in the next stitch and half double crochet in the next stitch and then two in the next. All the way around and when we get done we should have 24. Two My nose is itching again. There's two and then one, one. And don't forget about that.
stitch. There's one stitch that's a fake stitch. Is, um, Jada calls it. So let's count. Two, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Okay, so I completed row three. So I'm going to come over here and join in the top of the chain two. And don't forget, if you need to put a stitch marker, go right ahead. Get to use your pretty stitch markers. Okay, so I got 24. And let's see. Chain two. And half in the same one. And then you're going to do three half double crochets. I'm going to tip the camera. So I'm going to pop so you can see a little. <laughs> okay, chain two. And one in the same one. And don't forget that little phantom stitch that kind of slides down because that's your first one. It's a real stitch. It's kind of hard for me to get it there. Okay, now I have to do three. So I got my two, and I'm doing one, one, one. And these, are, again, all half double crochets. Okay. So we're going to do two on the next one. This is my total, you guys. Before I join the other yarn, I'm going to sew in my tail. See my tail's right there. I'm going to sew my tail in. So now I have to reach down in the sock and do it later. So this is the toe we're doing first. Okay, one more here. And then two. And then one. Stitch. And then I'm going to do one and one. I want to thank all you guys that have been watching my watch hours. I've been watching all my videos. It's getting close. I haven't checked today. So today is the 29th. The last time I checked was on the 25th. And there was 34.75. 3,475 hours. So I need to check again. And it's really weird because they have an app. It's called the YouTube Studio. And you can use it to check your progress and you can use it to um, update your videos, you know, if you find a typo or, you know, you can just do stuff in the YouTube studio. The YouTube studio says I have more hours than the actual YouTube website. I already have 4,000 on my YouTube studio. But it says something about paid promotions. I'm here to tell you, there hasn't been paid promotions. You know, I did get some yarn from Premier, but that was like one time. And I definitely appreciate it. But 
I can't believe that it, it was watched five, 500 hours worth, you know what I'm saying? But I'll get there eventually. And I'm just curious to see, you know, because these people sound like they're me kind of killing. <laughs> Maybe when they have 9 million subscribers. Okay, let's count this. So I have 2, 4, 6, 10, 12, 30. 30. Yeah. Okay, so now this is the end of row four. So I'm going to join it with a slip stitch. I'm going to chain two and we're going to do round five. Okay, round five. When do I go? What round do we start? The other color. tell us that we're doing the foot is when you change the color yeah because it says um draw up a loop of the foot color so we have to, i'm on row five and we have to do up to row eight okay row five is a half double crochet in the same stitch and then now we're going to do four. I don't miss that stitch right beside. Okay, so here I do two, and I'm doing one, one, another one, and another one. So it's two and then four by themselves. So two, If the heel, nope, the heel is 19 rows. Hmm. And so the heel is not a repeat of the toe. It's got a separate issue. And there's 19 rows where there's only 8 rows of the toe. Okay, so let's see, one, two, three, four. So now I gotta do two in the next one. And now I'm gonna do four. One, two, three, and four. Do two in this next one. I hope you stuck around to crochet with me. I like to think that we're in the same room and we're having a soda. I mean, I went to Culver's today. And I got some of their fish. I love their codfish. And their root beer. But that root beer is just so foamy. I get the diet root beer, of course. And of course, I had a, an ice cream sundae. So I had to have a diet soda. <laughs> no, they have, uh, if you fill out the survey, you get um, code and then they, you give it to them and you can get a single 
side, I think they call it, um, ice cream. But we split it. So. It's not as bad. One, two, three, four. So now I gotta do two in this next one. Yep, I did a double crochet. One, two, three, four. Two halves in this one. One, two, three, four. Okay, I got four left. Okay, so I need to do rows six, seven, and eight. And I'm going to meet you back so I don't bore you to death. Okay, guys. At this point, I've completed row 6. And row 6 had us increase um, four stitch, um, 6 stitches from 36 to 42. And then row 7 and 8, you just did have double crochets all the way around uh, for two rows so now we have eight rows finished and I sewed in my tail in the middle because I don't want to bore you with that part and now I'm getting ready to finish row eight and start the yarn from Christy so what it says with right size facing and the smaller hook, which is the one we're using, which is the size I, it says draw up a loop of the foot color in the same as the join. So I'm going to put this over here. I feel a sneeze coming on you guys. I'm so sorry. Okay. Here it comes. It went away. Okay, so I'm going to pull it through. And now it's joined. I'm going to tighten up the other yarn. Chain 2 does not count as a stitch. Hmm. Chain 2. Do a front post double crochet around beginning chain two of the last round beginning chain two of the last round so there's a front post double crochet front post double crochet front post double crochet around each remaining stitch and join with a slip stitch so you should have 42 front post double crochets. So let's do that. Yarn over. Insert the hook between the stitches behind the stitch and up on the other side and complete your double crochet and on because we're on the second page of the thing on the first page it tells you how to do a front post double crochet so we're going to do 42 front post double Crochets. And that's how it looks so far. Okay. And you can cut your toe yarn anytime that you would like. I'm going to go ahead and 
do that. Give it a pull. Get my scissors out and do about an inch or two. Whatever. And then I'm just going to give it a little tie. You don't have to make a knot. You can just do a tie if you want. Because we have to weave those in. Okay, so... Let's continue our front post double crochets. On these 42. I can't wait to see what the cables are going to look like. Now what I found with an in intermediate pattern is they take, some patterns take for granted that you know what they're talking about. They're just not as explicit in their details as an easy pattern. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be a pretty big sock. Since the toe is big. What does it say? One stocking measures about 20 inches long and about 12 inches around the leg. Hmm. It's got a big toe. See? Big toe. Yeah, so I was thinking about this Christmas yarn. It's called Cranberry, I believe. So that's why these reds didn't actually match it. So I'd have to find a cranberry color or just do red and reds in the Christmas theme. So. And it is my sock. Now, if you guys are lost, I can do a full-fledged tutorial on this. But what I'm doing now is just a do it together. Because I cannot do a tutorial on the Christmas crochet towels. I can do a tutorial on the stocking, but I can't do it on the Christmas crochet towels. So we're just struggling together. Let me do those. Okay, so I'm almost around with my front post double crochets around the last row. Half double crochets. And there should be 42. So we got to count before I can slip stitch. So I think I'm there. Two, four, six. Ooh, I only got 41, so I guess I gotta do one more around this stitch. And I 
that's going to be 42. And then it's a slip stitch into the first front post. So not the chain two that you did, but in the top of that front post. Okay, I did it, I did it. Okay, now it says rounds two and three, chain two. So we're gonna be going back and forth between front post, back post, and we're gonna do a cable. So it looks like the cable is just gonna be like a crisscross. You do, you skip one, do one, and then you go back and do that one, so that's easy. Okay, so we're gonna chain two and front post around the first 11. So here we go, so front post, double crochet around the first 11. One, two, three. And remember the chain two does not count. And you are slip stitching in the top of the first front post double. Okay. So I have two, four, six. Remember, don't count the chain two. Okay, back post around the next stitch. Okay, yarn over, do back post. Back post, front post. Back post, front post, back post, around the next one, and then the next one is a cable. So that means you skip a stitch, do a front post, then go back and do a front post around the skip stitch and so basically what that's doing is it's just making an X back post over the you know you skip those two you just did with the cable and then you do a back post front post around the next one Back post. Okay, so there's the cable. Back post, front post, back post, and then front post over the next four. Three, four. Okay, let's try this again twice. So we got to repeat what we just did. So, 
top through it together. The next one is a back post. And the next one is a front post. The next one is a back post. The next one is a cable. So you skip one and do a front post. And now you go back and do a front post over the one you just skipped. Now you're going to do back post, front post, back post. Back post. Front post. Back post. Now you're going to do a four front post. Okay, now we're going to front post around each of the last seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I did, I did it right. So now we're going to front post over the next, let's see if this last one, oh, let's see what's wrong. One, two, three, four, no, that's right. Oh, four and seven is 11, remember? Because we started the row with 11 front post. And so we're going to end the row with 11 front post. Makes sense to me. One more front post to do. Okay, and then it says join with the slip stitch in the first front post. So don't, so skip that chain two and go over to the top of the front post. So now I've got my slipper. Now we've got to repeat that row because it says rounds two and three. So chain two. Do a front post over the first 11. So this stocking has 13 rows for the foot, 19 rows for the heel, and 27 rows for the leg.
pig. Now basically what you're going to end up doing is doing a back post over the back post, a front post over the front post, and a cable. Okay, so we've got 11 front posts. Now we're going to do a back post over the back post from the previous row. Let's do that one over again because I didn't get it right. So there's my back post and a front post and a back post. Okay, so now we have a cable. So how are we going to do this? I think we're going to do the one that's on top. We are going to do the front post. The one that's hanging out in the back, we're going to do pull it and we're going to do a front post. And so that continues our little crisscross. Then we're going to do a back post. And a front post. And a back post. And then we're going to do four front posts. We're going to do a back post, and a front post, and back post, and go to the crisscross. So the one that's on top, we're going to do a front post. And the one that's hanging out in the back, we're just going to kind of pull it around and do a front post. And then we're going to do a back post on the next one. And a front post. And a back post. And a front post. On um, all the rest of the stitches in this row. I just want to show you my cables. Here's my cable. Okay, and you can just tell because it's bigger than the rest of them. Okay. I'm gonna do whoop, I gotta wrap twice. I only need to wrap it once. And we're gonna finish row three.
skipping the chain two and I'm going to join in the top of the first half double, half, first front post double crochet. Okay, now it's hard for you to see because the shine is variegated, but you can see the cable and the front post, back post. So there's my stocking so far, and you can see in I have large hands, but you can, can see in comparison to my hand how big it is. Okay guys, we're ready for row four. And I took a look ahead, and it says that rows five through thirteen, which is the actual foot, is a repeat of rows two, four, two through four, three times. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make myself a chart on the back of here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna number this one through, uh, no, not one through 13, five through 13. And then I'm going to, beside it, I'm going to put 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4. And then I'm going to use a row counter so that when I'm on row 5, I know I'm going to do row 2. When I'm on row 6, I'm going to do row 3 and row 7. Is row four and then I'll, I'll mark them off so that's how I'm going to keep track so right now we're on row four and row four says to chain two and then it says a front post around each of the first eleven okay So I'm going to do 11 front post double crochets. And so you re row 3 is the same as row 2. So you could actually put on your paper 2, 2, 4, you know, 2 two, four. <coughs> if that helps you. But we have to get up to through row 13. And for the foot, this is the repeat. So I'm on number seven. Okay, let me count them. The chain two does not count. So I've got 11. Front post double crochets. So I do a back post around the next stitch. A front post around the next stitch and a back post around the next stitch. Now let's see what it says. Front 
holes around each of the next two stitches. So what we're going to do is you've got that cable there. So you got to kind of separate it. And we're just going to do them in a row. We're not going to skip because it doesn't say skip. So a front post around that one that's towards the back and then a front post to, on the one that's kind of on the top and then a back post around the next stitch so basically what we're doing on this row is we're just not making a cable we're just so I did a back post and front post and back post and a front post and then it says to do four front post now in my case with this yarn being variegated the cables are not going to show up in the the posts are not going to show up as good but I don't care this yarn is beautiful so I think that's why they did the stockings in a solid color okay did I do four one two three four now it says a back post Oh, so we got to repeat that. So go back up to the towards the top. So that's a back post, a front post. And you can let the work in this pattern tell you what to do, I think. So there's the back post. And then we're here to the cable. So there's no skipping. So we're going to do separate the cable and do a front post and another front post and then a back post uh, I got hung up here do I get to start over? yeah, I got to start my back post over Sometimes that happens to me. I get it. There we go. Now I'm going to do a front post and another back post. And then I'm going to do four front post and then seven front posts and four and seven is eleven so we're just gonna front post it out here on this row the rest of this row is all front posts and then we're gonna slip stitch to join now that completes row four and that's where I'm gonna start my chart starting with row five because it says rounds five through 13 repeat rounds two through four three more times and then fasten off this color and then we're going to start the heel okay so i'm not going to bore you why i do this last 11 Um, and so when I come back in another video to work, we'll work on the heel. So I want you to repeat these three rows until you have a total of 13 rows. And I'll meet you back in another video. 
doing we'll do the heel okay you guys if you need to rewind this video to get these rows straight that's cool too so while I was talking here I did my 11 so I'm gonna count and my cranberry's starting to come in to bloom. <laughs> you guys can see my cranberry. And so at the end of this row, I'm going to do a slip stitch to the top of the first front post. So you skip that chain. And there's my stocking so far, you guys. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. Okay, and this of course is four ply yarn. So if you want to make a sock sock, you could try this pattern in sock yarn. Number one or whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, stop the video here. And tomorrow we'll work on this some more. And we're gonna start where I am anyway, I'm going to start the reindeer kitchen towel. So you can get the link. I'll show you again. I might, that might have been a little fast, but the link is, is below. You can print out your pattern. You can look at the videos or the pictures that she has on her website. And we'll get ready to start our reindeer. Okay, you guys, I hope you're liking the um, Christmas in July make along so far. Leave your comments and uh, suggestions below in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. Watch my other videos. Thanks, guys, for joining me. Love you. Bye.